Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it's bright and early on Wednesday morning. This is a Christmas break version of War of the Visions news. The difference between a Christmas break version and a real version is Christmas break versions will happen a couple hours later because I slept in a little bit, which feels good. Anyhow, let's get to the War of the Visions news today. We're going to start it off with a couple of bugs that have been plaguing people. So we've had an issue on certain devices preventing people from like uh, updating the game, downloading the game. And I know a couple people who've been having this. It's really frustrating. Even if you play on multiple devices like I do, if one or two of them can't update, it kind of limits how you can play. It forces you out of your routine. And in a game that you play every day, routine is important. So get this fix. They do say that they have a fix for this and it will be implemented in the near future then another bug is the sequential ability bug you know, like follow-up attacks or follow-up heals that kind of thing it's been affecting helena soul and ferris and they say they're working to uh, resolve this issue so that's a little less um promising but i hope they get it resolved pretty soon especially with near being announced and in the future having a new collaboration unit with a follow-up attack on it it'll be important to have that fixed by then okay new unit and vision card coming out this week now this is a part where i'm going to say i've been seeing a lot of comments i was very excited for near and i am very excited for near and a lot of people are very excited for near but a lot of the comments in my last video were like man this game's impossible to keep up with blah 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 free to play blah 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 how are you supposed to pull everything let me just remind y'all right now you are not supposed to pull everything my job what i choose to do on these videos is come out here and like be excited for every new thing that comes out that i think is cool sometimes I, I occasionally even i have a down video but that's not my brand that's not what i'm all about i come out here and i talk about what's happening in the game i try to pull as much stuff as i can keep in mind i'm using money that i make from people watching my youtube videos to do that there is two or three of you out there that watch this video that can be in that same boat as I am with War of the Visions. Everyone else, don't try to keep up with everybody. And not everyone, not every unit, not every vision card, not every Esper is for you. But every unit, every vision card, every Esper is for someone. And so I want to be, I want to give every one of these characters the same treatment that I would give a character that I am just, a, that I'm really excited for, except for Squall. I give him way more love than maybe anyone else did because he's my favorite. But you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to talk about King Elda, who, by the way, looks like a really, really cool unit. But he's a hundred cost water unit. If you're a water player, hey, this video's, this dude's probably for you. You're probably very excited for this guy. If you're not a water player or if you're not a King Elda fan, which that's a, yeah, uh, that might not be a real thing. King Elda fans, um, especially since like Masidia doesn't play anymore. Yeah. Uh, so maybe just water players. This could be a big moment for you. Everybody else, I think this will be a heavily passed on unit because we have a big collaboration coming in about a month, month and a half. So King Elda, King of the Lions. I just wanted to give that little disclaimer right there. Like, don't feel like you have to pull everything. We also have a new vision card coming out this week as well. So Elda, King of the Lions, King Lion Lancer, Paladin, Trick Lancer, Subjobs. His limit break is a sequential ability, so get that bug fixed. It is a short range, and that matters, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. It actually targets the square directly next to him, and then pierces through that square. This will force him to get very close to the enemy to use it. And his whole kit is designed, what it looks to me like, to draw enemies to him. So we'll talk about that more in a minute. Lowers pierce resistive targets within range for three turns, then deals large damage and sequentially activates, then fall we shall. Then fall we shall. Ooh, excuse me. Then Fall We Shall raises CT of allies within area around self and significantly raises attack and accuracy rate for three turns. So it's a bigger range than Keenblade, but it's the same kind of buff that Keenblade have with a steroid on it. So this is a pretty awesome move. It's cool. It's unique to him. And it's going to encourage him to get right up in somebody's face. He has more things that will do that. Undying Lion raises area attack resist of allies within area around self for three turns. Cool. Bestows re-raise on self. Awesome. So he'll re-raise. Additional effect increase physical damage while re-raise is in effect and bestows distance based damage reduction effect from four panels away to seven for three turns and bestows AP recovery medium for three turns. So this does a lot, but the big thing it does here that's different to him, that's unique to him, is he has a barrier sort of like Squalls, but his barrier doesn't start until four panels away. 
What this will do is it will encourage the AI to not stand between four to seven panels away from him. So if he's getting close to you and like you're in that barrier range, even if you're a ranged unit, you will move in to shoot him because you'll do more damage and that's how the AI works. Really interesting mechanic right here to play with and I like that for him. Okay, so there's that. We'll, we'll talk more about this when we do his kit preview later, uh, once he comes out. Lion's Drain. This is another attack. Raises his own defense, piercing rate, and destroys any barrier that loses physical damage. Then deals high accuracy, two hit damage medium to targets within range, and absorbs portion of damage dealt. So he's got a lot of accuracy in his kit, a lot of defense pin. He's a Lancer type, or well, he's a Spear type unit, which right now, Spear type units are having a good time in the game. I think he will be very strong and add a lot to water. Okay, Blood of the Future, you are vision card. It's cost 60. It's a hollow VC. And there's a lot of limited bestowed stuff going on here. So limited party ability, sword, red mage, spear, staff, devout. That's your jobs. AOE resist, critical hit rate up, max HP up. Really solid list of group buffs. And then for quest only, AP cost rate down. The generic bestowed effect is magic attack resist up. Then if you are any member, it looks like, of King Elda's family, so like any version of him, Mont, Stern, or Helena, you'll get AOE resist up. If you're one of the boys in that family, you will get attack up. If you are Helena, you will get magic up. And then if you vision master this thing, like if you level it all the way up, everybody in your uh, in your game will get quest, pierce attack plus three, critical hit rate plus three. So that still, it continues to be a thing. All right, that's him. There's gonna be bingo boards for him, all of that. Unit eligible for transcendence, just him. And there we go. New Year's greeting 2024 campaign. This is an interesting login bonus because it's 11 days long, making me think that this is some kind of weird week again, like we had towards the end of last month, beginning of this month, where this login bonus is just gonna kind of, it's not gonna drop off, but maybe it's gonna just continue until the next patch. Now, if I'm right, if I'm right, what they did last time was they just had this thing end after seven days and then we had these awkward days of no login bonus. It appears that they have fixed that. Let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. So there's more Vizior here than a regular week and they've extended it for 11 days, meaning that it looks like we're gonna get login bonuses all the way up till next month's first patch, which is a nice improvement on the game. I like that. And then there you can see what's in the login bonuses. Next up, Blood of the Future Vision Card Hard Quest Item Triple Drop Campaign. This is important. If you pull a hollow VC, they are a pain to build. You have to spend some Vizior on it. Unless you pull it on the first day, I guess, and then you're getting triple drops on the hard quest from the 22nd to the 1st. So that could be really helpful. Get your, yo, what, four, what is that, three? Get your three shards a day. Wow, why was that math hard? That is impossibly easy and I messed it up. Wow. Anyway, triple drops on the new VC quest. That'll be really good. Triple drop friend medals. So make sure you're doing that. Whimsy Shop encounter up. Whimsy Shop cooldown down. Barracks King Elda time halved for shards. So easier to get shards for him. And let's see, he's a uh, hard shard quest, his hard quest. Hey, if you had an S to hard, it's shard. His hard quest will have triple drop as well. So easier to farm his shards. And then if you're gonna max reincarnate him, his scroll consumption halved campaign will be on until the ninth. And then he'll be in the whimsy shop guaranteed. He'll be in the unit shop guaranteed. All of those things that we're get for new stuff he's getting and the vision card is getting. Okay, Trials of Reckoning is coming out. So we're gonna be able to get the flan card right here um, from the Tetra Master game with Trials of Reckoning. So this is hype. I do love a good Trials of Reckoning or a Guild Raid, something like that. We're gonna get EX Quest 2 added to Rise of the Serpent with a new spear. I believe that's King Elda's spear right there, the one he will use. So there we go, the Lion's Roar. It's definitely his. And we'll have Happy New Year's 2024 Celebration Quest once today where we can earn up the 2024 Vizior with some EXP pots, armor pots, gill snappers, those kind of things as well. You'll get prisms, fragments, uh, and a 300 energy milestone each day quest to have a little extra energy to do Trials of Reckoning, which will run from the starting on the 22nd. So the 22nd to the 28th, it's only gonna be six days long. That's nice, actually. I kind of like it when they're more condensed like that gather medals, you can earn the prizes. Let's take a look at the interesting stuff right here. The interesting stuff, well, the titles are interesting. So Dagger, Zidane, Vivi, Zidane are your titles. 
Ooh, if you get first, you get, I wanted to come home to you. That's kind of, well, Final Fantasy IX fans will really appreciate that. Anyway, but you can check all those out. Let's look at the unit bonuses. So Dagger's the XL unit bonus, the free units, the XL bonus. That means it's time for me to finish building Dagger. I've been slow rolling her, but I will probably boost her up now to get that XL bonus. Your large bonus is quite the list. Zidane, Vivi, uh, Black Rose, Helena, Winter Roth, Perrine, Luel, Corwell, Garvel, Sakura, Moraga, Victoria, Varouche, tons of units in that large bonus, a ton more units in the medium and small bonus as well. Bonus vision cards. Now, Trials of Red is one of those times where it's not owning the vision card that gives you the bonus it's actually equipping it so lions who defy a god this is the new vision card that's your xl bonus uh your larges are under the red and blue moons battle in the clouds and shinryu and then there's a whole list of medium bonuses and a whole list of small bonuses as well so stack them up as best you can do to do to do, do let's see the rest of this is just going to be normal info about trials of reckoning okay then vision card job list got updated because of the new job base vc and that's it so king eld is coming out big pve week with trials of reckoning and yeah i hope y'all are having a happy holidays i know i'm really enjoying being home with the family even if potty training which is what we're doing right now is something i never ever want to do again I don't like it that much, but it's something that we're doing. It's something you got to do. And so we'll get through it, y'all. Uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. If you've never had to experience it, it's, it's a real thing. All right. Have a great one, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Peace.